routine. on my Easter break and I like, literally where has time gone <laughs> but yeah I've been doing good technically Easter break started two weeks ago but I still had a class on the Friday after Easter break started I have just been taking days off I took a few days off straight after term actually I just went to hang out with some friends I went to London for a day I had some friends visit and it was just really fun and really chill and I feel more re-energized and ready to work I guess <laughs> right now revision is kind of all over the place because I just there's just so much to do and so much that I need to consolidate so hopefully in the next few days I'll kind of come up with a Easter revision plan and share that with you guys because honestly I don't even know what I'm doing right now I'm kind of just going through my notes going through exam papers and just seeing what I could do but I still don't have a clear idea yet yeah but yes, coffee is getting me through and actually today we're going to the King's College Library which I'm super excited for I think switching up where I work definitely helps and it's really nice It's relatively sunny now but I'm pretty sure it'll get cloudy later Typical UK weather I like it when it's sunny and motivating I have a package I want to show you guys I already opened it because I was very excited but Anna Luisa very kindly sent me some of the jewelry and I love all the jewelry pieces I already have this um, tulip necklace that was designed by Zoe and I got it as a birthday gift and I really loved that very very excited about wearing these pieces that they sent me the packaging is just so cute so I'll show you guys the necklace first so this is the Saya necklace and it has a pearl and it's flower shaped and I think this is so cute and so dainty and it's definitely like a style that I really like and I really like gold jewelry so this is like perfect I have been looking for more necklaces that are kind of like my style and then the second thing is the earrings these are the Frida earrings I think these are really simple but quite classy as well so I think it'll really dress up any outfit lastly is the bracelet which honestly I love this bracelet because it is just so cute it's the Rowena bracelet if you guys watch Rowena she has really chill vlogs I think she took the inspiration for the flowers from antique traditional Chinese coins which I think is just so like special and so dainty and I think it matches really well actually with the other two pieces that they sent so I'm super excited to wear these and I think I will wear the bracelet and the necklace today they're currently having their sale so I will link that below and I really think these pieces are so versatile and good for daily wearing so definitely check that out and get some for yourself so today is pretty much just a library day so I'm hoping it will be productive and I really need it to be because <laughs> I feel like I need to get my life together but yeah I'm going with Su Yi right now Cambridge has actually been opening up to a lot of visitors so there's a lot of tourists all the time so it gets quite busy in town especially in King's College oh look at how cute that is so nice and it matches really well as well so I'm gonna go and pack my bag and we will head out to the library and have a productive day Why is the weather like this today? We're so windy! The weather is horrible But you vlogged a lot last week, right? I didn't vlog at all I haven't vlogged oh, really? during the Easter Hi, Boo So nice!
It's 7 p.m. And you can hear the bells ringing. How was your study session? It was, yeah. <laughs> it's too long, man. <laughs> like, I couldn't sit down long. for that long. Oh, mine was too chaotic. But we, we got something done. Oh, I try my best. Okay, we're going for dinner. We did get a high wind alert, so I have to be careful outside. But it's nice to study inside and I feel really energized for the day to start. So this is my outfit of the day. I went with pigtails instead because I just thought it looked cuter with this outfit. I really like how this top is like so thin but it's just so cute and I've been really liking neutrals so I kind of like this. Okay but isn't this the cutest Yakult packaging ever? It's so cute. I'm gonna drink one now. And yes, I have multiple coffees. It's because they were on sale for one pound. So it's been a few days since my last trip to King's College Library and I would like to proudly announce that I now have more of my life together so I kind of have a better direction of what my Easter revision plan is. I think for me, what was really important for revision for exams in general was just so that I would be overwhelmed and stressed because in my head I'm like, well if I have to do the revision then I might as well be in a really happy state when I'm doing it and that way I'll learn more as well so it's like a win-win situation. And so my biggest tip for myself this Easter break is just to do one thing at a time. Sounds very simple, but I've really broken it down because as you can see, this is what I used to do in a level revision. So I wrote down my post-it notes, literally just one topic on each. It really visually broke it down for me and I just felt less overwhelmed like that. I've been going through the past exam papers and looking for patterns. So obviously patterns don't always work, but if there's like a reoccurring topic that comes up, then those are the ones that I'm planning to focus on the most. So I'm planning to drop at least one topic for each subject apart from land because for land, every topic is like mixed together. So I've been going through the past papers one by one and I've been focusing on one topic each time. And so yesterday, I think I did like two essays on the same topic and that's really helped consolidate my knowledge. I have a model answer and a model structure for the exam when and I do a question that is the same topic and so that way I feel more prepared for the exam. It's quite a slow process but I think if I try to jump around a lot of different topics or a lot of different subjects in one day or very quickly then I won't actually learn or gain as much. So right now I'm focusing on quality over quantity. I think maybe everybody does this but basically in any one given day I try to focus on two separate topics from two different subjects. Tuesday I focused on international law and contract law. So that's two topics and very specifically for international law, I did use of force and for contract law, I did misrepresentation and mistake. So by really making your revision specific on certain days, I think it's more productive. And another thing that I've been trying out is rather than setting a start time, I try to set myself an end time so that I don't drag things out. Because you know what, like, I would rather be doing other things to study, right? But I know I need to study and to make it more, you know, happy, fun, bearable for myself, I'm only going to study until this time and then afterwards I will leave time for creative things, for things I enjoy. And, you know, being productive doesn't mean that you're working 24 hours a day. It means that you have a healthy, balanced life and that way your revision will actually be even more productive and higher quality as well and having enough sleep is very important so 
And so I've been making sure that I get at least eight hours of sleep. Actually, yesterday my exam timetable came out, so now it's even more real. And yeah, I'm actually planning to write it up and put it on my notice board. So my land law exam is the 24th of May. Contract law is the 31st of May. 1st of June is CSPS. And then international law is on the 9th of June and then the 13th of June is CPE. But yeah, this morning I'm going to focus on land law because it's the most painful subject ever. Yeah. I hope you guys are taking lots of breaths. I am actually resting a lot, I promise. So this is currently the exam question that I'm planning to tackle this morning. It is this really long problem question and it is about houses and people cheating on each other and trying to get the house back stuff like that i just spilt my yakult on my notebook and the saddest thing isn't even that the notebook is wet it's the fact that i spilt my yakult <laughs> So as I am having lunch at like 3 p.m. with my friend, I'm gonna have a small bowl of kimchi fried rice that I made yesterday. I'm actually not that hungry, but I think if I had to wait till 3 p.m., I'll be hungry. And I don't want to eat too late either because I want to save my stomach for Tanbin, my favorite restaurant in Cambridge. So just a small bowl of kimchi fried rice. Oh, it's so windy. Oh, okay. Let's close the door. And this is my small lunch. I don't want to do this. This is too hard. I'm feeling a bit tired, so... Iced coffee. I generally like the canned coffees more than the actual coffee that you get from Starbucks. I'm currently working through the problem question and it's really hurting my brain. I've made some progress. I think it's just really hard to decipher the problem question and that's why I think I need to do a lot of these in order to get good at it. But right now I wrote about like three-ish paragraphs, very small paragraphs um, as starting points. And I think I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I left my left my speech to text on and it just typed out everything I just said. You see all of that nonsense? <laughs> Guys, so I finished the first part of my essay and I am now heading out to pick up my friend. It's really sunny, but I'm sure that it's super windy. So I'm bracing myself. Honorary fellowship the other day. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. oh, oh my gosh, congratulations! 